Hello and welcome back to Boring Dad Gaming, where today we're going to be playing some more Potionomics. I managed to tear myself away from Vampire Survivors for a few minutes, so let's dive back in. So it's the day after we beat Boss Finn. We've met our next competitor, uh, Anubia, I want to say, but I could be wrong in that. It's been a, it's been a few days since I played. Um, yeah, I'm sure they're all fine. I'm happy to see little Owl back. Um, oh my goodness, we've got a load of stress. That's from the... Uh, competition so I think what we'll do rather than have a potion selling day what I might do instead is uh, go to town uh, we'll give gifts to people rank up a few people um, yeah quickly check custom orders I don't have anything on at the moment uh, we're going to our garden now people have been uh, telling me a little bit more about how the garden works in, in the comments from some of the previous videos so it seems that you can give a slime any color item um, but if you feed it its desired colour, it will produce additional copies of the thing you want. So let, let, we can try that out. So let's try uh, this rock salt, for instance. So let's give that to green. It doesn't have any green currently. Green's working on it. Taking a little bit longer, perhaps, because it's not its natural colour. I'm not sure if that's how it works. Um, so we've got to feed it 84 Magimins to, to get another one going. So what, what have we got that can do... Again, filter would be so useful here, wouldn't it? I want to give it something that I've got quite plentiful, but also, also quite worth doing for the greens. We've probably got to a higher tier. Uh, we've got quite a lot of River Calamari. That's no green, though. Something I've got quite a lot of. Nope. <laughs> I should have given it to anyone except the green one, shouldn't I? Just looking for things I've got a lot of. Uh, quite a few of these. Oh. <laughs> nothing, nothing green. Again, a filter would be lovely here. Uh, quite a few of these. I oh, have a twenty. I don't have any sort of thing that's worth just a lot of green. Forty. Okay, well, let's give it a couple of these. Okay, now it's making three of those. So it needs another 30. If I give it the other one, other one of these. Boom, now it's making four. All right. So that's that's pretty good. That's, that's a clear demonstration of how that works. What else shall I give it? And I wouldn't mind... Maybe we'll give it... Um, I want to experiment. So I'm going to give this to the red one. See, so it, it's already uh, doing it in less time slots because I think it's its natural colour. Remember, it was three time units for the green one, wasn't it? No, it's only two for the red one. So I think it's still optimal to, to give it its correct colour, if you like. Um, let's see, what have I got plentiful in a decent amount of red? Hmm. I'm going into the same issue of not being able to filter their colour. It's only eight. There's a lot of yellow though. If we give something yellow, remember that the uh, the silver stag antler is quite quite worthwhile. That's worth twenty. It's dwarf cracker. I'll we'll give it one of those. That's interest. Oh, I get what this means now. Do I? Do I get what this means? I don't know, because I put in something worth 40 and it's doubled it up to 80, so that's two times. But I thought that was how many things it was making. I mean, it's, it might be both, of course. Good to know, though. Uh, I don't want to do that particularly. Alright, so something like this. So you imagine this would do 60, right? So it's making three. If we give it another one, it should go up to, to four times. There we go. So we're getting, we're getting eight of those now, so that's pretty cool. Um, what can we give yellow to work on? Uh, 
Yeah, maybe some of the xenoplasm. We've got quite a... Remember, we're going to go back to the uh, silver stag song because this is quite good for feeding you. Know? Give it another one. One more. So it's making five of those now. So that's good. And something for blue. Um... Phoenix tier might be quite good. Let's do that. And some big blue stuff. Lustrous pearls, not bad. Put a couple of those in. Yeah, what are my salt water ones? That'll do 80. So that's making three. Maybe we'll bump in another one. It doesn't have to be a particularly large one for blue. Quite a small one, actually, would nudge it up to the next level. There we go. So working on like a quite a, quite a few different uh, things there. That's pretty pretty cool. People have also drawn my attention to the fact I've been a bit lax with one of my aging barrels. Um, I'll go and go and check this. Apparently I didn't click brew, <laughs> which is you know par for the course really for me at this point. Let's just go and check this. Yeah, that's where the petrification potions went. Oh no, it's not alertness enhancer. Limonek. I missed that custom order because of that. Well, we're not selling today, so let's just age those. Is there anything in this one? No, this one's fine. Do I actually have any potions at the moment? I do have a few. Oh, these are my competition ones, aren't they? So we could maybe age the stamina potion, and that will... What? Is that because it already is aged? Oh, okay. Yeah, I did, I did age all my competition potions, didn't I? Alright, well we could have a stab at making a getting a competition potion on the go, which is our good cauldron, this one. So we can have a stab at making a uh, we could try superior silence. Let's get that going. People said I also said I don't need to do this so early, and that is correct. I just I quite like to have them ready, and I also I mean, because you're making four, maybe even five at this point. Um, it's good just to sell those potions because they're generally quite valuable as well. Um, so let's see, so green, yellow, purple. Have I got anything that kind of does a bit of everything? I mean, yeah, I do. What should I chuck in? Should I chuck in one of these? Good, okay. It's unstable though, so it's going to lose a star. So we need to up the green, yellow, and purple. So let's uh, try some high level green. Ooh, green and yellow quite large. A little bit of blue though. I quite like that essence one though. Green. No, it doesn't. The less blue, the better, really. So let's try one of these. Can't even brew this, it's too unstable. So we need to uh, up the purple now. The green and purple, really. So is there something big I've got that's just green? Uh, yeah, toss in a couple of these. It's gotta be two to one, so we'll keep going on those. There we go. So the yellow's not bad, we need a bit more purple. Anything that's just purple would be good. I don't think I have a lot that's just purple, though. The ants might... Ooh. Yeah, so that would add 70, which is the right amount. So let's chuck that in and that in. Something didn't go in. Was it this? Oh, because I've... Um... Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's... Um... So what is this worth? 48... Got 15, that wouldn't be quite enough. That would only be 45. Maybe we get rid of that. We'll need some more yellow after this. Uh, let's, let's see some more green and some more yellow. If I've got 
one that does big yellow and a little bit of green. Uh, like the, the palms might be good. I'd need to add a couple. Just review. It's not. It's not enough, is it? Going into the, uh, we want a lot of green, don't we? What's one of my biggest green thing to chuck in? That's 48, that's pretty good. Or well, green and then a lot of yellow, which is alright, I guess. Uh, I must get around to cloning that, I keep overlooking it. Quite like the rutabaga. We'll come back from that. Green, yellow, blue. Blue's not ideal. Okay, so we'll chuck in uh, maybe a couple of those. And it's got to be two times, hasn't it? So if we want to get that close to 200, really. So is this stuff that does green and yellow? Yeah, so these are good. So that'll basically be all the purple I need. That's greater. I got one that does kind of a bit of everything again. See, so I could chuck in. It doesn't have the blue. That's quite a lot of the other stuff. So we do chuck that in. That's grand. We need it to be. Superior. I've got about 80 to play with. Ooh, let's try. Oh, if I chuck a motive mana in. It's not enough. do that. What I might do is take my cauldrons. Oh, I haven't got a lot of money though is the only thing. Hmm. We could try a different one. Um, what about the insight? That's a more basic recipe, isn't it? Oh, it's a very odd proportion there, isn't it? Red, green, purple. Uh, well, this will be good for that. And this. All right, we'll give it a go. Red, green, purple. Red, green, purple. So it's not too bad. So, like, 80, 60, 60 would be... 200. So double that. If we had it like 160, 80, 80. Oh no, no, that's not quite right, is it? 120. So 160 plus 240. It's 400. It's too much. So I must have done that wrong. So 80 plus 120. 200. So why does doubling that not work? 80, 160, 120. Well, that's 280. Yeah, that is right. So 160 and two 120s. If I could do that, that would work quite well. 
So I want to add a hundred to this. A hundred red, if possible. Well, let's try the purple first, because the purple is mostly in uh, combination with other colours, isn't it? So if I could uh, look into that up by 90, if possible. Well, that would be a good start. Let's put that in. So looking for 26 on that. That's yellow too, which isn't ideal. A couple of those. Ooh. So what is it? Twenty six. That's ten. Oh, that's, oh, I would lose all my ore for that, though. I kind of want to be able to duplicate that. Similar for that. Uh, that's slightly more than I need, but that's okay. It doesn't need to be perfect. Um, so now I need to get up green by a similar amount. That should be okay. I think I've got some big green items. Well, green and something that increases green and red would be good. So one of these would be good, really good. Let's try that. Okay, so we want to get what did I say? 160 for this. We're almost there. If we can get one of those ones that's red and green, it's one of these, isn't it? I pop one of those in. So the Red is perfect now. Purple's a little over. If I can add 40 green. Uh, ooh, that's 30. Hang on. So I want, yeah, 38 to 40, something like that. 30. And a couple of... Oh. That's 42. Boom. Boom. It's grand. It'll go five-star grand. And a chance isn't... So it's not quite there, is it? Uh, so what does all of those that I can add? I need... It needs to be about 50-something. Sixty-five. If I take out another ten, take out that. Hasn't really affected the quality, but now if I add a mote of mana, still not enough. Empty. I think my cauldrons aren't big enough, so. Tomorrow, when I've de-stressed a bit, we'll be able to sell some stuff. So today, let's revert to the plan of going to town and talking to people. Uh, I think the deck's okay. We want to, just in case I can afford to upgrade one of the cauldrons, and it's going to be this one. Let's uh, stick with the last one it's there. Start off at the guild. I've probably got people out who have done things for me. Gift. I gotta try and remember what everyone likes now. I did I? Oh, he likes mushrooms, doesn't he? There we go. Wow, would you look at that? Not enough to rank up. That's fine. I'll send him out again. And people said I shouldn't be. Oh, what's at the crater now? This needs. Curse, grand curse cure. 
And what are these? Shadow tonic. Interesting. And the, so there's, oh yeah, there's a little bit over here as well, isn't there? Maybe something here? This needs poison cure and fire, and whatever this is. Petrification cure, wow. I mean, he could go out and, like, do one of those, but the thing is, it's, it's costly. I don't want to spend so much money at this moment to go and do that. What's in the Arctic? Yes, yeah, so these are very expensive areas to send people to. Um, oh, have we seen this? Yeah, so just because at this point I'm trying to save a bit of money for cauldron improvements. I'm not going to send them anywhere expensive. And in fact, I'm... I've got stamina potions. Maybe I'll keep him one. Fine. You know a stamina potion. Super so, okay. Keep it going. Nice day for it. I'm going to pop to Mark Tuck next. I, I, am, I would like to see how much it will cost to upgrade my cauldron. We can rank up as well. It's also quite... Oh, just, <laughs> just spent too much. But I don't have any of this supernalite, though. Which is an ore. So we're going to... Let's go and hang out with the heroes again, because we can send them all off. Again. Maybe multiple times today as we're going to be ranking up with uh, a few characters. See the fuel's coming in. I mean, that's for me where the, the value of this is the fuel that comes in. So I don't think I've nailed down what Mint likes. I try with a bug. I don't think it's Essence. Hey, this is pretty good. She's alright with bugs. Alright. Send you out again. So how far will she get? One, two, three. So she needs a mana potion as well, doesn't she? Possibly health. Uh, so that's seven, ten, fifteen. No, she'll be alright. Dwarf uh, River Calamari, actually. Give those as gifts to the the cats. Gifter. Now, someone said something that sounds good would be a good idea for Zid. So let's see if I, again, the filtering <laughs> would be really nice. Something that sounds good. Hopefully something cheap. Rutabaga. Okay, I just want to see... Well, I mean, we're probably getting into the more expensive stuff anyway, aren't we? I just want to quickly go through. Okay, so there's something cheap that does it too. I think we're getting into the more expensive stuff, aren't we? Down here. So, alright, you can have a Rutabaga. Ow. One star, fine. <laughs> um, maybe there's a particular type of something that sounds good, but I don't have a lot of stuff that has that modifier. This is it, I'll need a health potion. And she should be okay. Okay, we'll check in Baptiste in case I've invested in anything. I can't remember if I did. I might have done. The quest was a success. Here are the spoils. Cool. Got some stuff. Yeah. That might be good for one of the potions, I forget which one, but one of the ones we just tried to make. 
So I might need to get a, a dupe going on that. I'm going to look to invest, but I haven't really got much money now, and these are all quite expensive. I mean, I'm sure they're really good. It's just, um, you know, I can't... It would wipe me out even doing... I can't even afford this one. Um, so, yeah, so we'll leave that for now. I'll try and gift him. I remember what he liked. Maybe a flower? Oh, he likes flowers. Oh, and well, I'm very pleased with this. Not enough to rank up. That's fine. Let's go and see the cats. I know I can hang out with characters as well to reduce stress, but I think if I go to bed at the start of the evening, say this time slot, so I need to be leaving town for this time slot so we can rank up one, two, three times. Then we'll head back and then I'll sleep and I'll be fine by the morning. So let's give a river calamari to the cats. Love fish. Hey, not bad, not bad at all. Not ranking up, I'm not going to do a treasure thing with him. No, I can't, I can't leave him. See Luna. He doesn't like bugs. I actually got an achievement for that. I don't know if you saw it pop up. It was um, pest control or something. I don't know. But she. Uh, we can rank up with Luna. The question is, do I want to? So I won't do that right now. She did not like bugs. Mineral, maybe? Oh, not too bad. Uh, not. Let's have a look at our marketing. So what am I selling tomorrow? Is it cures mainly? No. We'll come back to Luna and maybe rank up with her. It depends. If I've... I can, I'm going to do three, and if she's one of the three, then, then we'll do it. Roxanne we can rank up with. So what does she like? She liked... Um, gems, wasn't it? So I might give her... Where's my... I probably over here. Yeah, this one. Oh, happy to take it off your hands. Okay, so... Again, I will just see if she's one of the three we want to rank up with. So those two... Where we have is it Saffron? There's another rank up. So that, that is three, isn't it? Retail therapy. Don't all look my offerings. She's probably the one I'll least rank up with because hers tend to focus on stress reduction, I think. So, plants I think she quite likes. Bless you, Sylvia. I love it. Um, see what fuel she sells. Because some of these are needed for stuff with muck tuck, aren't they? Um, but I'm looking mainly for that wall, which I think is probably an item you discovered a zone. So that's three. Let's check out Muktuk, who is someone I probably would like to rank up with if if it's possible. I'll give him an awe as well. Yeah, so he's a rank up. So we definitely want to do Muktuk, I think. I like his uh, his cards. I should put it to excellent use. So we'll f check on Quinn, because they might have... Uh, Quinn's cards kept a bit of a mixed bag, actually, but... Um, probably would rank up with them if, if it's possible. Quinn likes slime, so let's give them a little bag of slime. No strings attached, really? And they're rank up. So I might do Quinn, Muck Tuck, and uh, Roxanne. One, two, three. Back home. Maybe we could do four, actually. Uh, let's see if we can expand their shop. So let's just do a couple of the items we've got quite a few of. Gave them a gift already. We haven't really got the money to shop with. I kind of want to save that for the cauldron. So let's rank up with Quinn. You got that last puppy look. You know I like to live dangerously, but this is a whole new level. Walking into the monster laden woods alongside my stalker. Stalker? I just enjoy your company. That doesn't make me a stalker. Sylvia, that is exactly what a stalker would say. I suppose I could leave, but then you'll be all alone in the woods. Nah, don't leave. That'd be dumb. We just got here, and I'm not the type to quit until I get what I'm after. Consider yourself warned, I guess. 
There's a haggling tip in there somewhere. Don't quit when things are difficult. That's sort of trite, though. I'd be more likely to tell you not to quit while you're ahead. When your opponent is backed into a corner, when you can see their soft, exposed underbelly, don't let up. Pour on the pressure instead. Pressure, one cost. Draw three cards, nice. Discard any of the three that do not raise interest. Ah, that's interesting. One of those in the deck might, might be all right. Brutal, but whatever gets the job done. And actually, speaking of jobs, shouldn't we leave the forest to the heroes? Heroes are like sledgehammers, and sometimes you need a shiv. Now be quiet or you'll scare away the monsters. You say that like it's a bad thing. Quinn and Sylvia pass the time in silence. Quinn gives off their usual air of indifference. But despite Quinn's casual stance, their eyes are sharp with purpose. Quinn rifles through bushes, kicks over rocks, sniffs mushrooms and hisses at some adorable woodland creatures. Maybe I could help if I knew what you were looking for. I'm just looking for something new. Anything different from the same old crap. I swear, if that smiling twit with the hammer brings me one more slime... But they like slime. You wanted to get me alone, huh? You don't need an excuse. Oh, do I strike you as the indiscreet type? I wanted you here in case there's any trouble. Am I the muscle again? Not exactly. What's that old saying? You don't have to outrun the blood-crazed carnage beast. You just have to outrun the person standing next to you. Quinn, am I here as bait? Sylvia, I'm wounded. If you were bait, I'd hide your broom in the bushes and slash your tendons. Obviously. Where is my broom? Yeah, I'd say see you soon, but I'm pretty sure your funeral's gonna be closed casket. Don't you dare leave me here. Oh, I'm just playing. You're sort of cute when you're overwhelmed with terror. All that flailing and crying. I wasn't crying. Oh well. As always tomorrow. <laughs> so that was uh, that was a decent card from Quinn. Uh, let's go back to Muktuk. Yeah, we'll do Luna instead of Saffron, I think. Um, I'm, I'm, I've only got one of her one of her cards. So I'm interested to see what what else she has. Uh, so yeah, in terms of the money for the upgrade, it's not a huge amount. But that up to 505, I think, would be quite useful. In fact, let's even see what he's selling now that we've opened up a couple more zones. So let's go to the highest. This, are these barrel barrels? Barrel, 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 barrel. Cauldron. Drag oh, wow. Dragon cauldron. What does that cost? That's 1,400. Okay, so I think instead of upgrading... What we'll do is when we sell tomorrow, and we should, we've got some expensive potions to sell, so that should be fine. Uh, maybe we'll grab one or even two of these dragon cauldrons. So I think we'll have no no problem doing uh, competition materials after that. Is there anything higher? So that's 11 ingredients, 640. 10 ingredients, 675. For the same cost, which actually is pretty good. Because it's not necessarily the amount of ingredients that's holding me back, it's the magimins. So Crater Cauldron, that's the one we'll get, I think. I mean, maybe one of each, because then you've got a bit of flexibility. But I think the Magimins is, is more important than ingredients. Which I think if we were to upgrade, might go up. No, no, it stays the same. Okay. All right, well, I think that's a clear plan. So let's rank up. The fire can wait a while. I can see it in your eyes, Sylvia. You wish to know if I have made progress. You wish to know if the great work, work nears completion. Sadly, the answer is no. Your dear Muktuk is in a rut. What's the problem? Maybe I can help. Oh, that is good of you. But my difficulty, it is metaphysical in nature. At this stage in my pilgrimage, the ancestors should bellow, filling my muscles with resolute purpose. Instead, they whisper. A gesture. And I find myself unsure how to proceed. You can't rush genius. Isn't that what you said before? Wise words, Sylvia. Wise words. The ancestors, they offer guidance when they are ready and not before. And yet, I find I cannot sit idle while I await clarity. 
perhaps seeking beauty in the world at large, shall kick something loose, eh? It is decided. A change of scenery is called for. A quest for inspiration. Let us away! And here we are, in the bosom of nature's beauty. At the sound of Muktuk's booming voice, birds take flight, scattering into the air. Muktuk seems pleased by this. He notes where the birds originated, then approaches their now abandoned trees. See there, cradled gently between the branches? A bird's nest is a marvellous thing. It serves a purpose, a crucial one. That purpose informs everything about its construction, from the materials used to its very shape. Yet there is room for flourish, for creative expression. See how no two nests are precisely alike. See the subtle variations employed. In that protean gap between form and function, purpose and playfulness. That is where we see art. I want to meet the bird who used tinsel in her nest. Very festive. Quite so. A daring choice. And it glitters so prettily, not unlike your eyes when they catch the torchlight. Forgive me for being mawkish. Something about this forest biome. It sets one mind to flights of fancy. We do not have such flora where I come from. Really? No trees? Oh, we have trees, but they are solitary, barren things. The harsh, wintry climate of my homeland does not allow for such verdancy. No wonder you're so scantily clad. Not that I'm complaining. Oh, it is certainly hot here, and I feel warmer still when you're near. Ahem. <clears throat> but this is why we travel. We leave the safety of home to see things we would otherwise not dream possible. For even the wildest of imaginations is limited by our context and our experiences. The broader your horizons, the bolder your imaginings become. It can get lonely though, being an outsider. Being so far away from home. I know well of what you speak, for even in a land of immigrants, Muktuk is, hmm, a curiosity. But this is why, as I have said before, we must know our own worth, where others might falter. We, as working artisans determined to leave our mark on a strange land, must put our best selves forward. And if in our heart of hearts we hold some doubt, we do not show it. Instead we show confidence and unshakable bravado. Bravado, one cost. Uh, applies bravado for two turns, applies three additional interests whenever a card is played. Mm, I don't know. Maybe? Two turns? Eh, for one cost, actually. Yeah, maybe it's not bad. Fake it till you make it, right? But hey, how are you feeling about your project? You seem super inspired by that nest. A wondrous sight it was. Yet in truth, I think it could have been better. The execution was interesting, but there was something deeply derivative in the conception. Harsh but fair. Alas, it is ever so. Other artists with their own flaws and foibles can only ever offer so much. Still, my mood has improved. I am happy to have spent this time in nature. And most assuredly to have spent it with you. <laughs> Flirting with Mucktuck. Alright, so let's head back to the Adventurers Guild. We'll get those adventurers going off again. I could, I mean, I could, optimally, I suppose I could have done it a couple of times already, but I kind of forgot. So there we are. <laughs> so. What do we get? Some basic stuff? That's good. I mean, if nothing else, this basic stuff is good for gifts. And uh, I like the fuel, as I've said before. So we'll do it again. He needs a. Stamina potion, last one. That's fine, would have preferred to see some fuel coming in. Sends it out again. Sid needs a bit of health, doesn't she? So we'll just do that. Uh, yeah, 
mint needs stamina, but I haven't got any. That'd be fine. So let's go to. Hmm. We can level up one more. I want to see what Luna's second tier is. I haven't done a lot with Luna. I haven't really nailed down a voice for her either. Tell me more about yourself, I'm curious. Oh, sure. I have a copy of my CV that you can take with you. It lists everything. Degrees, internships. It basically starts at kindergarten and keeps on going. <laughs> Well, that's good information to have if we're going to be in business together. I know, right? You did it! But I'm also curious about you as a person. What's your story? Oh, that's a tough one. I mean, where to begin? Well, are you new to town? Oh, yes. I've only been here a few months. I've been working for a big marketing firm on the mainland, and I was really good at it. But I wanted to branch out and do my thing. Spread my wings a little, you know? And there's no better place for that than Rafter. I don't have to tell you that, though, do I? We're both here to find success on our own terms. I confess I know quite a bit about you. I do my homework on potential clients, you see. Ooh, my very own stalker. I like it. Oh, Sylvia, don't tease me. I'll blush. I only did some light digging. It's good business sense to know who I'm going to be working with. But more than that, I think of it as marketing at its best, as a tool for elevating worthy people and ideas. You might not be the most lucrative or stable client I could pursue. Hard to argue with that. But you have so much potential for success, Sylvia. You've got skill and ambition, and from what I can tell, you like what you do. If I can help give you a boost towards success, then I'll feel like I'm using my own talents for good, and maybe even having a positive impact on your life. Well, that's refreshingly big-hearted. Now, don't be fooled. I can be a total mercenary when I need to be. But I'll work hard for you, Sylvia, if you'll let me. I'll even give you more pointers in case they're helpful, for instance. As young business owners, we have stressful lives, but keep in mind, stress doesn't have to be a bad thing. You don't have to let the anxiety of the job sweep you away. You can lean into it and ride it like a wave instead. Interesting. Raise interest by three for every five points of current stress level. Discard one card at random. I don't know about that. I mean, mm, so at our current well, uh, currently we'd have uh, that would have thirty points of interest if we played it currently. I mean, I'd like to keep my stress down because stress is bad. A positive spin on spin on stress. I like that. Helping people see things in a new light is all part of the job. I ain't good at what I do. I mean, just look at that CV, Sylvia. Okay, so... Oh, we can rank up again, but we can't afford to, because when we get home, it'll be that, and that's that's when I want to go to bed. So... I think... Oh, we'll pop in... On... Zid. Well, we'll pop it on all the adventurers, but we'll send Zid out again, because I've got a health potion I can, I can give her. Fuel. Ah, i got a couple of fuel. Very nice. Again with a health putty on. We'll check it on course I can mint. I think if they're only gonna be beating a couple of people. Also, it might be worth sending out for a four. Yeah, so you can get up to the uh, you can get up to the boss. Okay. I uh, will get mint stuff up. For 25 cost, her she'll only be able to beat three, so I might just not send her out again. Yeah. And we're gonna head home. So we're gonna go to bed, but I'm gonna pop in on the slimes first. So we can collect all this stuff.
So there's a few things I do want to... Oh yeah, this one definitely. So maybe we'll give that to... Hang on, what else do I want to do? I want to do that vegetable that I've only got one of. It must be on this page. Yeah, so we could do that on green. We'll do that with green, get that going. Uh, I don't use this bone a lot. I probably should. Only got a couple. What were the ones that were looking like they'd be quite useful for those potions I'm trying to do? We, I mean, we definitely want to do this one. So maybe we'll do this one on uh, red now. This was quite useful. But I feel like there's something else I only had a couple of. Oh, blue. Yeah, get going on blue on that. Um, that's quite a big yellow. That could be worth doing. Alright, so let's see if we can pump these up a little bit. So 91 red. Oh, that could be worth doing on the green. Do another one of those. I'll leave it at four. Nice to sort by sort of like a highest lowest thing as well, you know. Like I've got quite a lot of these, but I'd have to use a lot to pump up this. Let's put a few in. They'll double the worth. One more. a lot of these actually. Let's dump one of those in. I've got four of them going now. So we do some red and some blue. Obviously the salt water ones. I like those though for potions. I feel like this stuff's all too valuable to just chuck into a potion to do this, but I've got a few of those. Let's put in a salt watermelon as well. Half the ones we had, but it's fine. Got three of those things coming out now. Uh, I'd like to, only needs a little bit more blue, so I'd like to get something in if I can. Nothing too valuable to me. Blue's one of those funny colours. Do the ghost light bloom because I think they're fairly cheap to buy from Quinn. There we go. They're all working on stuff. Should be ready by morning. Uh, the thing we're aging will be ready by morning, so I don't want to do anything with that just yet. Um, we may as well put the 
this cauldron back in place. This is the one we'll be changing. Um, oh, we'll have a look at our deck. We got some new cards, didn't we? So did we get anything from Quinn? Pressure. Remind ourselves this. Draw three cards, discard any of the three that do not raise interest. Well, that's going to be good to have one of those in the deck. Um, I wonder whether we lose a chorus card. I think a lot of these were down to only having one of. What was muscle memory? A free interest by four. Uh, yeah, I might take one of those out. I'll have pressure. Muktox bravado. I wasn't sure about this. Oh yeah, maybe. Maybe it's good. Um, I quite like this because getting rid of the potion's bad traits. Jingle's always... Good. Captivate's always good. Pump up's pretty good. Might lose a shield to take a bravado. Uh, didn't do saffron. We did Luna. I wasn't sure about Luna's one because you got to kind of, you kind of want to get stressful at, and I, I want to avoid taking stress. So uh, let's save that deck. And we're going to end the day because, uh, yeah, we want to cancel out all that stress that we've got. Okay. It's so on the surface a bit of a wasted day, but actually um, it'll be good because now we're going to sell lots of expensive potions and um, go and get a bigger cauldron to start doing our competition missions in. Oh, no, it's down to seven stress. Oh, I thought we'd have... I thought it should have been... Oh, maybe it was 30. Fair enough. Alright, let's start off at the garden, because all this stuff should be done. The feeding thing is good. Um, but it is quite intensive on, on, on ingredients as well in its own right, so um, I might leave that element of it for the time being. Um, that's got good traits, so we put... was it a, was it yellow? Yeah, I'm pretty sure giving a slime its, it's correct item uh, it just means they do it quicker. Uh, do I have new... Oh, this this one's quite good. What's this? That's a red. These can be quite good. Maybe we'll give that to green. Maybe I'll do a salt watermelon on the blue. Because I do like these. We're getting a bit low. Alright. I'm going to go and collect the potions we've been aging. Very nice. And look at all those positive traits on that one. So. Actually, no, maybe we'll get some basic uh, mana and health potions going just for our shopping period. Uh, so. Actually, yeah, mana potions are probably more in need. Another reason to send the heroes out for the cheap stints because they do come back with these ingredients that we use for these cheap potions. I don't look a common. That's fine. How are we doing for fuel? I would like it in two. I've got loads of this wood. Oh, yeah. I want some health potion. Health red and green, isn't it? So maybe we'll just chuck a load of these in. this 
Oh, I don't think I have a four green though. Bump. Bump. There we go, common, get three of them. Do, do another couple of these, we'll get four though, won't we? There we go, four commons, that's fine. Oh man, I wanted to put fuel under that, never mind. Let's get mana potions going again. So that'll go common as well. Oh, the chance of going common. It's not guaranteed. That's all right. All right, I'll remember to stick a bit of fuel under this one. Three cauldrons are going. Let's customize the shops. I can't remember if I've got uh, what I'm actually. What am I selling today? So I've got four of these enhancers. Cure. Tonic, potion. Oh, we've got the enhancers one up, that's good. And potions. There's one of each, so that's good. Uh, yeah, get these enhancers going. in the window, I suppose. Okay, seems all right. All right, so we want to get, we want at least 1,200, which I think, I think should be, I think should be doable. Let's open up. Get a feel for this new deck as well, which is becoming a, a bit more sort of scattered, like with lots of one versions of each card than it was before. Oh wow, this town's really growing fast. Make me an offer I can't refuse. Yep, easy captivate. Free interest. Chorus it. Can't do anything about the stress that's coming in. Never mind. Oh, stress again. Alright. Uh, yeah, I don't really want to close just yet. Aye, aye, aye. Maybe I should have taken that stress card. Yeah, it increases interest per stress. I haven't even reached the first heart yet. Oh my goodness. Alright, so... So we'll do that. I guess we pump up. He's going to hit us with five stress. Stop stressing us out! <laughs> oh my god. Already back to 25. Gonna have to get an early night at this rate. All right, what's bravado? Two turns. I think we're gonna try and finish it this turn though. So what have we got? Uh, so I guess we jingle. Okay, yeah, let's jingle. Salt and pepper. Confident. Now we're going to do strike now. A big increase. Craftsmanship. I could have played this this turn, couldn't we, I suppose? But. I'm going to close the deal, and that was a bit frustrating because we didn't. Well, it was 50% up, but that was our most expensive potion. It's going to be a great day, don't you think? This one looks nice. What are you asking? Uh, get the double chorus going. Always nice. But 
that full stress come from? Pressure. Alright. Free muscle memory. I'll let it ride one turn. Oh, how much will that stress straight back on? Alright, we're gonna finish it this turn. Maybe captivate. No. So we can do three. So yeah, so we bump up chorus then, I guess. Nice. Okay, well, let's close that deal. Got enough for one of those nice uh, cauldrons. Hello, fellow early riser. Make me an offer I can't refuse. Of course, they're going to stress us. Fortunately, I've got to keep a guard. I might add that other one back into the deck. They seem to be applying a lot of stress at the moment. More so than previously. Guess we craftsmanship, chorus, pump up. He's down to three, so I mean, clearly we're going to play that. I think we just play all of these. Eighty-four, not bad. As you put your cauldron to great use, I should like more potions, Olivia. More, more. Two superiors for three days. Big reward, though. Yeah, okay. Let's take that. I look forward to seeing the result of your labor. In this potion, you must tell me about it. Do not make me beg. Oh, I think we go... Chorus Jingle. Let him go another turn. Well, I think maybe we do finish this here because we've got the closer. Uh, maybe we don't really need to play this, but I suppose that I suppose it affects that, doesn't it? Seventy-five, not too bad. I tripped over three pirates on my way here. They're always underfoot. Let's make a deal, but best be quick about it. Oh, she's already impatient. Okay, never mind then. <laughs> chorus. Pump up. Maybe we'll get a captivate next turn. Yeah, I'm not sure about that Quinn card. I might, I might get rid of that and bring in another one. Uh, I think we're not going to get two turns. We've basically got this turn. And that's going to time them out. But there's a chance that it maxes them out, in which case they'll buy the potion. No. Damn, took stress for that. Do you know, 
Robin. Oh, he's so dreamy. There's not too much trouble. I thought I might like to buy this. All right, let's try and do better this time. done. Actually, let's just close this. 81%? Yeah, we'll take that. Might be it. Yeah. Okay, so we've got the one potion we didn't sell. But that's fine. We'll have another opportunity to do it. Uh, we'll go and check on our ruse. I think there's one that's probably still got a couple of time slots to go. Yeah. Ah, did go common. That's good. It's fine. Why don't we get another health potion going in one of these? Do this one. Is it health I want to do? I think so. So I'll go common, three potions, that's fine. Two brew. Yeah, so it'll be ready when we come back from town, basically. Both these well. Not upgrading, so I'm not going to take those. Uh, we could check in on the garden. I think a couple of them might be finished. Great. I'm going to chuck the salt watermelon straight back in again. Green guy on that. This one could be good. Green, unfortunately. That's got yellow. Maybe with a bigger cauldron we might actually be able to use one of these. Okay. Right to town then, I suppose. Um, go to the deck builder because I'm I, this one. I don't know about this one because I don't have. Yeah, I, I, I wasn't sure about that. I'm not sure I liked it. I'm going to add another keep your guard up, because... Oh, I just felt, yeah, we just were taking so much stress in that. We've got to go to bed probably when we return from town next, so... Um, that's not, that's not ideal. Um, right, go to town. <clears throat> we'll do the usual round of gifts and everything as well. Um, so we, we want to end up with muck tuck, so let's, uh, let's pop in on salt and pepper first. We're not going to do any ranking up now though, because it'll advance, it'll advance time too too much. We'll, we'll get some of this stuff going. More tribute is appreciated. Alright. Uh, we'll start, maybe we'll work our way like this. So, uh, let's see, cool set. Good, always happy to see fuel. He likes mushrooms. Well now, would you look at that? I'm trying to think what potions I've got. I might I've got a petrification cure in my pocket, haven't I? Which one was which one needed petrification? It wasn't this one. To grand that oh, what have I got? Oh no, alertness enhancer. I don't think I want to waste it on him, honestly. What have I sent him somewhere like the bone wastes? 10, 15. So he'd get up to there, wouldn't he? That's fine. A higher class of ingredient there.
I didn't find the right thing that sounded good, did I? Try an essence that sounds good. Nope. <laughs> Expensive reagent given away for nothing. Right, we can rank them up though. That's fine. But we're going to send it. We're not, as I said, we're not going to do that now because I need. I want to reduce all this stress by tomorrow if I can. Um, so what Zid's issue is health? Um, I'm not sure why. I don't have any health potions or anything, so... Nine. They only get there. So 50 cost, that doesn't seem great. Let's take them here. Have I worked out what mint likes? I'm not sure if I have. Maybe some. Maybe try fruit. Yeah, that's all right. Uh, I'll send them out again. I might send mint to the mushroom mire. Nine, thirteen. Wouldn't be able to get past that because I don't have a poison cure. All right. That way, I could try. Alright, bone waste as well, maybe. So, 18, so that's 15. So she'd get, get there, wouldn't she? And that's alright, because she's only got three mana anyway, so I don't need to waste a mana potion on it. That's fine. I'm not going to go to Bat... Well, I suppose we can gift Baptiste, can't we? He liked flowers. Uh, but I was, I was about to say, I'm not going to go on... Uh, I'm not going to invest because I, I want to spend all this at Mark Tuck Shop, I think. Again, can rank up at another later point. I think Roxanne's already to, to uh, rank up. We'll give, give her a gift anyway. Was it gems she liked? I forget what my little green gems are here. Ooh, it's sparkles. Again, we're not going to rank up. Luna, I guess. Still haven't figured out exactly what Luna likes. I think we can level up with uh, rank up with Luna anyway, but let's try a gift again. Forget what I've already tried. Did we try mineral? Maybe we did. Ideally something I've got a lot of. How about, oh no, we've tried it with a bug already. She did not like the bug. Flesh. How about some flesh? Mm, average. Saffron. Plant. Got loads of. Which one have I got loads of? I suppose this. Oh, that was a fruit. Damn it. Okay. See Mock Tuck last. It's going to see Quim. Slime. I'm running out of these. It's good. Uh, I'll go see Muck Tuck. Smell you later. So first of all, give him a gift. Uh, he likes ore. This is probably our lowliest one. Sylvia, you could not be more perfect. Uh, we're gonna, yeah, so what did we decide? It was... This one, wasn't it, really? Because of the really good management. So maybe we'll get one of those. Uh, look at the shells. We've already got some good versions of this now. 25% price increase. I mean, that's pretty good, isn't it? Got one for enhancers, one for tonics, one for cures. Good, aren't they? I might take the enhancers one. I mean, I would take a potions one, but I don't see one for some reason. Yeah. 
And with that, I might go to Baptiste again and just see if there's anything we can invest in. I've got a reasonable amount of money there. Yeti antler. Oh, a lot of yellow. Could be good. Amp Amp for there's shadow. Good for yellow and red. Arctic diamond salt. Red and purple, but two good traits. So I think probably for the cost. I'm not sure about that. We'll do four of each of those. Might pop in a sequin in case that any of the basin ingredients are discounted today. They are. Okay, we're getting a bit light on, on some of these, so I probably will spend. Green and blue score good. I don't have any of those currently. I'll take a couple and I might... Well, I probably won't duplicate those because they're too basic. But I think for 30 cost we'll take all 10 of those. These are pretty good. Maybe one of these. That's just done. Uh, let's see if we can expand the shop, actually. Uh, Lazuli ore. I'm not sure if I'm duping that. I don't want to get rid of my only one. Um, but with these others, we'll get Quinn to sniff them out. I'm going to travel home. We'll get a couple of... We'll get some brews going. We'll... we'll um, uh, see if we can get a competition potion going in, a, in the new big cauldron that we've we've bought. So let's, or maybe one of Moktuk's custom order actually. Uh, yeah, yeah, we'll try we'll try the custom order actually. So let's first of all we need to do customization though. So we're gonna plump. Oh. I think that's okay. I can always pop this one in the basement. In fact, we might do that now. Doesn't really make too much of a difference whereabouts they are. No, mm. no, it's not too much of an issue. I think those two are probably ready. We'll just bottle them up and then I can uh, move them around. That's good. Customize. That one's still going, but we can go in the basement and plonk the, uh, the celestial one down. Um, we've got the new shelf for enhancers. I might put that in place. That's so all we got. Um, that one was enhancers. That's a, that's a straight straight upgrade, isn't it? That's fine. Good brew. I can look at the custom orders here. It was, I want to say alertness. Superior alertness, was it? Superior alertness with those three positive traits. Okay, let's see if we can get this going. Am I in the right cauldron? Yep. Okay, quite a tricky ratio. Uh, let's start off with the traits, though. So, have I got anything in green? And which which traits was it? Was it the first three, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay. Any greens that do this? Uh, 
green and yellow. That's actually quite a good one. We'll stick one of those in. And either do this. Let's stick a little one in. Maybe there's one a better one. Green, yellow, blue. That's actually a good one too. This nuclear shadow. Let's stick that in. And then we want... Let's see if we can find a blue that smells good. This one. Uh, it will... I don't know if that will cancel out the other one, though. Is the only thing. Similar for this. Okay, let's see if there's a... Uh, yellow that does this. It's negative. Maybe this one. Green and yellow and blue. That seems pretty good. All right. So pretty good. We're already up to greater. I mean, we need to work on the proportions, obviously. Uh, we'll try not to do ingredients that will have negative traits on those three as well. So this is a little bit complicated. Um, in terms of the ratios, if we got it to... Uh, 240... No, that would be too much, I think. Forty plus. No, hang on. So eighty. Double to hundred and sixty. Double to three hundred and twenty. And then plus two forty. So that's five hundred and sixty. No, that's too much, isn't it? Um. Well, well, I'll tell you what, it doesn't need to be exact, does it? And I, I think it will be difficult to do that, so let's, uh, let's not. Right, I need blue and yellow. So, yeah, that's a couple of things we don't want. This might be good, though. Blue and yellow. Put one of them in. Again, this is quite good. This one. Oh, this is good too. Got a few of those. Might one on him. Okay, we need some more. We need some more blue, don't we? We need, we need quite a lot more blue. One of these, maybe. So we're in superior now. We're making three. We can make five. So we want to add ten ingredients to this. And how we're looking? A little bit more blue, but you know, we're not too far off the ratios. Uh, frog leg might be good. realised I haven't been looking to see if any of this stuff I'm doing is going to detract from the, the good ones I've added. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. I think it's okay. I, th I, I should have been paying closer attention, but I think that's okay. Um, blue and green? That's quite good. Wow, it's going to be nice when we sell a bunch of these. Uh, we still had 75 worth of stuff. Oh, that's exactly a moat of mana. So what happens when I dunk this? It'll actually go to the level above superior. 1200 per potion. Only making four, so I will dump. S oh, I can't dump anything else in. So I'll have to take that out. I want two ingredients that kind of do these. This one could be perfect, actually. Hang on, let's check the traits. Ah, that tastes bad, so I don't want, I don't want to run the risk of that cancelling it out. I want something that's a bit more towards the blue. I mean, another one of those would be good. Like that. And have I got just a tiny amount of blue? And yeah, I've got room for 11.
Blue's a tricky one, but I've got I've got like a tiny uh, green I can add. Like one of these. And suddenly we've got five of these coming in at 1,200. It's going to go, it's, it will gain a guaranteed additional star, so it will go to the next level of quality. It's going to take a long time to brew, however, so what can we do about that? Right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So middle of tomorrow, that'll be ready. Hmm. Well, I've only got actually it's a t it's a two potion order, isn't it? So that'll be fine. Get another one going tomorrow, and then turn in the following day. Brew nine. Yeah, I think that looks good. So we know we can do superior stuff in in this cauldron, so that's good. Got health going there. Got new enhancers shelf. Maybe I should get another enhancers thing going. What else have I got? Imagine my shelf be full of the ones I'm making. What else can I make? I, I should maybe make a tonic for the, the adventurers where I want to send them to. Let me think. Make a storm one. I can go out to the stormlands. So we want blue and green. Yeah, well, those are quite good. It's already common. Don't need to, we don't need to use that expensive ingredients, to be honest. Um, so we'll add a bit more blue. Uh, 18's worth. Ooh. Perfect. If I can add... If I can get it to 8, it will... You know, get to more of those. Maybe I'll add a moat of mana. Well, so it has gone greater now, which is good. Eight, eight blocking eight. I think that's that's worth doing. It's too, it can't brew it though. It's too unstable. So I need maybe a fairly big green and a fairly big blue. Fairly big green. If I can add 30 blue. Maybe okay, one of these. How about one of them? So there's a chance of losing a star, but honestly it's going to be in the greater range anyway, so that's fine. Fuel on the fire, so to speak. One, two, three, four, five. If I put another one on, I'll be ready by morning. That's good. I don't really have anything worth aging yet. That is aged. Yeah, the stuff's for adventurers. So that's good. So I think we've got a custom brew going. I think we've got some stuff for adventurers going, which is all fine. Um, Lots of time to the competition, so we're going to do Muck Tuck's order, get three grand for that, would be quite nice. Uh, pop in on the gardening, I think there was one that had a time slot to f finish off. There we go. I might get them going on that again. And this one. That's got purple, so I do quite like that one actually. Let's get, let's get that going again. And part of the reason I'm disinclined to feed these guys is, um, as well as the sort of the resource cost, which can be managed, it's the time taken to find the right ingredients. So again, the uh, filtering would be very good here. I 
just yeah, I can't be bothered to go through look look for a, the right red one. So we're gonna leave that. Sure we'll be ready by morning, which should be nice. Excuse the dog in the background, someone's talking outside, so obviously he's gotta make his presence felt. Um yeah, we're gonna end the day and we should 10, 20, 30, 40. we should be down to three percent by morning on stress. So Oh, that's a save, that's not end day. End day. Before I leave the competition potions too last minute, it's worth bearing in mind that these superior ones will take a long time to brew, so. I will, I will do them after I've done this custom order. Um, but we're going to leave it there. So thanks very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Potionomics. It's um, a bit of everything, a bit of raising relationships, getting more cards, a bit of selling, a bit of upgrading. So yeah, hopefully that's been enjoyable. If you have enjoyed it, then please do hit the like button on the video, subscribe and you know comment on the video too. Always, always glad to hear what people think. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you again. Bye for now. <laughs>